All right, legends, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and set up taxes. Now, only watch these next two videos if you sell products. If you only sell services, you don't need to watch this video or the next video. But if you do sell products, follow me. So first thing we're going to do is go to taxes over here on the left-hand side, and we're going to set up sales tax. Give it a second. Welcome to the tax sales tax center, yada, 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 set up sales tax. Yes, that's what we want to do. Okay, here it kind of gets confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so single tax rate, correct. We only are selling in our local city. Our tax name, your tax name is your name if you're a sole proprietor. That's what I am. And my agency name, just go by your uh, DBA, doing business as. So mine would be village park source. Now for the tax rate, could be confusing. You don't want to charge your, conf your consumers or customers too much or not enough. So how you determine your, your tax rate is... Uh, I go to tax rate rates.com forward slash calculator and I'm just going to copy and paste our office address right into here. Again, tax rates.com forward slash calculator and I'm going to plug it in just like that. You could probably Google find my tax rate and have a thousand different websites pop up, but this is what we've been using. Okay, sales tax 8%, jurisdictions, probably, I don't know, just all the bordering cities, Encinitas, Solana Beach, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go back to, now that I know this information of 8%, I'm going to go back here, tax rate 8.00, save. There it is, great. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, view tax report, just like that. Okay, this is cool. This is, don't look at this right now. We've set it up, it's in our system. So go back to customers, go ahead and create a customer. If you already have a customer, I'm going to pause this video and create a customer really quick. So I just created a customer called Josh, uh, Josh's Hot Dogs. Let's go ahead and create an invoice and include our tax on it now. So we'll go ahead and we'll just type in one. It's going to ask us to auto save that. Is it product? Add one. Description. No. Do I want to save this information? Sure, whatever. Uh, two hot dogs. We sold two hot dogs and... Actually, we'll just do description hot dogs and then do the quantity over here is two. And our hot dogs are expensive because they're the best hot dog in town. They're $10. Right here, 20 bucks. Okay, so we're going to click on this little check right here underneath the tax bracket. We're going to click on that. It's going to ask select a tax sales rate. CH, 8%. There it is. So just added tax. We'll go ahead and save and send it. We correctly added tax to our proper district with QuickBooks Online. Thanks for this. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Maybe I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, good luck with this.